Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to talk to y'all about Steven Jackson. Steven Jackson put on his Instagram post a few pictures of Chris Kamen. And Steven Jackson started this whole debate about selective outrage. And as you can see in the picture, it says, Former NBA All-Star Chris Kamen picks are from 2012, 2013, and 2016. Was it suspended a minute of a game? And in the description that Steven Jackson wrote, he said, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Wrong is wrong. But hey, if you're 23, rich and black, you dead wrong. And I'm quite confused because I just posted a video a couple days ago of Steven Jackson calling John Morant a moron. I defended him the first time. The second time, you a moron. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that, bro. That's the dumbest shit of it. I don't feel bad for bro no more. He did that to himself. You can't feel bad. You can't feel bad for him. First time, yes, yeah, a mistake. Second time, you a moron. You think I ain't want to run back in the stands after we did that shit the first time? It's a lot of fans I want to. It's a lot of fans I want to. I wasn't going running that stands again and lose three million dollars and thirty games suspension. I ain't wasn't doing that shit again. You do it again, you the moron. And before that, Steven Jackson was on the fence of defending John Morant the first time he got caught brandishing a weapon on IG Live inside of a strip club. World just had a great workout, and I just saw the video of John on the screen of being him in the strip club. First, if anybody from my era that's trying to talk down on John, 80% of us would have been in the media or in some kind of jam if we had social media or if we played in the cloud chasing era because... All of us was partying in the strip clubs doing the same thing Jai was doing and 10 times worse. Anybody in my era, be quiet, dog. We'll all be in trouble if we played in this clout chasing social media era. So let it be, dog. We all did our thing. It's another thing. I don't want to hear nothing about it. It's about holding him accountable. Half of y'all scared to look in the mirror and hold yourselves accountable for the shit y'all done done wrong. Or the person y'all doing wrong right now. Or the lie you holding on to right now. You just lied to somebody. And you scared to go, go go tell them the truth. So stop it. Everybody got their own shit going on. None of y'all perfect and neither am I. We all got our shit going on. So I don't hear no one, I don't want to hear no shit about us about holding him accountable. It ain't for you to hold him accountable. It's for him to hold himself accountable. That's that's the only person. All y'all talking about it, oh, we just trying to hold him accountable. It, it's not for you to do. It's for you to go in the mirror and hold yourself accountable for the shit you done done in the last week. That you ain't clearing up. Y'all got to stop it, bro. Everybody want to play God now. Y'all got to stop it. Y'all far from it. We all got flaws. We all got mistakes. And we all human. And we all had sh did shit that we had to recover from. Y'all got to stop it. Hold yourself accountable. So, Steven Jackson started this whole entire post about selective outrage. And as you can see, it almost has 11,000 comments. Stephen A. Smith even touched based on it. And I want to give you guys Stephen A. Smith's reaction as well. So with that being said, let's check out what Stephen A. Smith had to say. Here's the video. He was talking about the hypocrisy. He brought the black-white equation into the, into the situation. I don't even have to go there. I don't even have to go there. We lived in a different time. Although we've been concerned about guns and we've been literally hearing people scream about gun laws needing to be addressed in this country for decades, the fact of the matter is, 2023 is a far different time than 2013, 2012. It's just a fact. But that doesn't negate what Steven Jackson pointed out. The NBA, every event, you have these same rappers rapping these same lyrics about guns and shooting at all your events. Just make it make sense. That's a valid point. That's a valid point. Okay, and a lot of NBA fans is calling out Steven Jackson for trying to make this comparison out of nowhere because it really doesn't make sense because Chris Kamen is inside of the comfort of his own home and John Morant is out brandishing weapons inside of a car listening to rap music and then the first time he got caught was inside of a strip club with a lot of drugs and alcohol around him including naked women in the background. Similar to how J.J. Riddick is being called out for bringing in politics when he was talking about John Morant not breaking any laws. And then J.J. Riddick went on this rant on ESPN and everybody was just calling it out for being fake woke. So, uh, yeah, man, that's it for today's video. Just wanted to come on here, show you guys this post that Steven Jackson had made. 
And I would like to hear y'all thoughts about it as well. So don't forget to hit that like button if you made it this far in the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. And we out. Peace.